Breakfast burritos are in my top three breakfasts of all time, but unfortunately, a vegan version is hard to find, especially a quick and convenient frozen burrito. So the obvious answer to this problem is to make a bunch of them, throw them in the freezer, and now you can enjoy a super delicious and satisfying breakfast in just a few minutes. And these are truly life-changing because nothing will put you in a better mood, ready to take on whatever the day throws at you than a quick and easy breakfast burrito. And today we're gonna make two versions, one that features tofu scramble, TVP sausage, and some homemade potatoes, as well as one that we make with just egg, impossible sausage, and tater tots. I'll do a taste test at the end. You might be surprised which one I liked better. Oh, and we'll be making some sauces as well. Now for the tofu scramble, I know everyone has their own way that they like to make it, but here's how I do mine. I'm gonna start with extra firm tofu, no need to press it. Instead, just crumble it onto a pan over medium heat. And then we're gonna add in our seasonings. I'm gonna start with one tablespoon of adobo seasoning. And now adobo is basically just salt, pepper, garlic, onion, oregano, and turmeric. So if you can't get adobo, just use some of those to taste. The next we'll do two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, AKA nooch, since we follow the law around here. And then a bit more turmeric for color, some salt and black pepper to taste. Mix that up and once it's getting heated through, let's add in about half a cup of unsweetened plant milk, which will add some moisture and help redistribute the spices. Speaking of spices, once we're done, we'll sprinkle in a bit of black salt, which will amp up the eggy flavor. Now, an important step for all the fillings is to let them cool to room temperature before wrapping our burritos. This will prevent them from steaming up the tortilla and making it soggy before it freezes. So let's add our tofu scramble to a plate and now we're gonna move on to the TVP sausage. If you're not familiar with TVP, it's a cheap and amazing product that makes a great ground meat replacement. On its own, it's pretty neutral tasting, but it will soak up flavor. So we'll rehydrate one cup of TVP in some of this vegan beef broth. Make sure you get the vegan one as the non-vegan label looks similar. You can also totally use veggie broth if you can't find this, it'll still be good. So we'll do two teaspoons of this and mix it with one and a half cups of water. And we're just gonna let that hang out for about 20 or 30 minutes. And then it'll look something like this. So now it's it's time to add in more seasoning. So we'll do one tablespoon each of onion powder, garlic powder, and smoked paprika, a half teaspoon of cayenne, one teaspoon of ground sage, one tablespoon of brown sugar, two tablespoons of nooch again, half a teaspoon of oregano. And now I know some people don't like this stuff, but I'm gonna chop up about half a teaspoon of fennel seeds and then also a few sprigs of fresh thyme. And then we'll throw those in there and then a few dashes of ground nutmeg, black pepper and salt to taste. And then lastly, one tablespoon of tomato paste and one tablespoon of blackstrap molasses. Mix that up and it should look something like this. And now all we gotta do is add that to a pan over medium heat and cook down some of that liquid. As always, taste and adjust to your liking. I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes and a bit more salt. And once it's tasting good and looking good, we'll add it to a plate to let it cool down as well. And now onto the veggies, I'm gonna use a red and green bell pepper, half of an onion and one to two jalapenos. And this is pretty dang easy. Just give them a rough dice, take out the seeds of the jalapeno if you want, but I'm gonna leave mine in. And then we just need to grill those over medium heat, add some salt and let them get translucent. Maybe a bit of color should take about 10 to 12 minutes. And once they look something like that, remove those and let them cool down. All right, for the potatoes, it's pretty simple too. Get about one and a half pounds, which will be about three medium-sized spuds. Wash and scrub them, and then we're just gonna dice them up. I'll just cut them into planks, and then basically french fries, and then dice them up. Don't worry if they aren't perfect, you're only human born to make mistakes. I let them rest in water while I dice up the other ones, and then we're gonna drain them, add them to a pot, cover them in water, add plenty of salt, and then we're gonna bring that to a boil, and once it's bubbling, cook them for about five minutes or until they are fork tender, but still a little stiff. You want them to be slightly underdone. And then drain them again, and we're just gonna pan fry them in some oil, and next we'll season them. I'm just gonna eyeball this, but we're gonna add in some nooch, black pepper, smoked paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, obviously salt as needed, but these were pretty good from the salt bath. And then we're just gonna mix that up. And really now it's just a matter of leaving them alone for like at least five minutes. You want them to get nice and brown, so just let them sit. And if they look like they're getting dry, add a little bit more oil, but you really just wanna let them sit for at least five minutes and then give them a toss and just repeat that until they're done to your liking. Add some chopped chives if you like, and once they are looking good, you can let them rest to cool as well. Now, obviously you have a bunch of stuff prepped and you could just store this in the fridge and make a burrito or a taco every morning, but we're freezing burritos so we can have them weeks from now if we want. 
But before we assemble our burritos, let's make some fillings with some just egg, impossible sausage, and tater tots. And now these are fairly easy to make. I'm just gonna cook up about two bottles of just egg, season it with salt and pepper, of course, and then we're gonna cook up one of these impossible logs, season that to taste with paprika, onion powder, the usual suspects, and then we're gonna air fry some of these tater tots, easy peasy. And now for the tortillas, normally I would use something like this, which are similar to the kind at a real burrito place. However, I found that when I froze them and reheated that they got a little chewy and tough. So we'll be doing these softer ones, which work better for frozen burritos. And these ones are a little smaller, but you can use whatever size tortilla your breakfast burrito love and heart desires. So we'll take our tortilla, and I didn't need to heat these up either, by the way. If yours start to crack, then go ahead and heat them up a little bit. But we're gonna add in some of our potatoes, our TVP sausage, some of the peppers and onions, and some tofu scramble. And now this is how I roll my burritos. I'm not an authority on rolling burritos, but this worked out for me. And then next, we're gonna wrap it up in some parchment paper. And then to really insulate it and make sure it stays wrapped up, we're gonna also wrap it up in some thin foil sheets. I also made a few with some vegan cheese, so if that's something you wanna do, by all means, go for it. And for the Just Egg and Impossible version, it's the exact same process, of course. So for the Tofu Scramble and TVP burritos, I was able to get seven burritos, and for the Just and Impossible, I only got five, but I also did a test with one of the bigger tortillas, so maybe I could have gotten six. Either way, we're gonna toss them in some freezer bags. I'll do my best to suck all the air out, and then we're gonna freeze those until needed. And now before we eat our burritos, let's make a couple of quick sauces. The first one is just a piri piri mayo. I'm gonna simply combine one cup of vegan mayo and half a cup of this piri piri sauce by Trader Joe's and add any other seasonings you want. But I gotta say, this is like my favorite condiment right now. So if you have a Trader Joe's near you, go make this ASAP. It's just amazing stuff. Also, let's make a tomatillo avocado salsa. And now I understand not everyone can or wants to get avocados and tomatillos. So if you have this salsa at your local store, it will definitely do the job in a pinch but as always homemade is better so for that all we need to do is get 10 tomatillos we'll take off their husks like so and then rinse them under the sink to get rid of that waxy residue chop them up and add them to a food processor along with three jalapenos seeds and all unless you don't like it spicy i'm going to blend that up a little to make some room and then i'm going to add in four to five cloves of garlic the juice of three limes Use less if you don't like things too zippy. Maybe use one lime at first and add more to taste, but I like my salsa to have a lot of tang to it. And then we're gonna do two avocados and a big handful of cilantro. Blend that up and then we'll add in black pepper and salt to taste and then just mix it and taste and adjust for seasoning until it tastes perfect to you. Now this does make a lot and it starts to lose its flavor after like three days. So feel free to make half of it unless you are planning on eating a bunch of it in a short amount of time. Now that our sauces are good and our burritos are frozen, let's reheat one. So unwrap the foil, but keep the parchment paper on it. And don't worry, it's safe for the microwave and it will help in heating up the burrito. So we'll add that to a microwave safe plate and heat it up for three minutes. Depending on the size of your burrito, you may need more or less time. And while the burrito is getting nuked, heat up a pan. And once the burrito is done in the microwave, spray some cooking oil on the pan and then add your burrito to grill it. And I highly recommend doing this. Not only will the taste and texture be superior, but it'll help seal your burrito together even more and will help melt the cheese as well. It's just a good move and I can't imagine skipping it. And if you wanna be real extra, you can grill all four sides of your burrito like this. And then once your burrito is nice and toasted, cut it in half and take a look at your creation. Give it a dollop of sauce and just revel in the glory of the burrito you've made knowing that you have a bunch more waiting for you for the next week. And I gotta say, this is probably the best thing I've made on this channel in quite some time. The tofu scramble and TVP sausage are just perfectly seasoned. The potatoes are, well, they're potatoes. They're perfect in every form. And then that sauce is just so ridiculously good. In fact, I went ahead and combined both sauces, which is the best of both worlds. And then I gave my burrito a nice little dunkaroo. And I gotta say, that was amazing as well. And I've literally been eating them every day. And honestly, this might be something I meal prep every week. In fact, I've eaten a few for dinner because breakfast burritos for dinner is also a smart move. And for the Just Egg and Impossible Burrito, I was actually surprised that I preferred my Tofu Scramble and TVP Sausage Burrito. The Impossible Sausage tasted a bit weird, to be honest. I usually love it, but I just felt like the seasoning and the TVP Sausage had way more depth to it, and it was just plain better. Same with the homemade potatoes over the tater tots. Don't get me wrong, it was still super dang good, but considering how much more expensive they were, if you have the time, make it from scratch if you can. 
But honestly, like I said, I'm really stoked on this recipe because not only is it super good, but it's the recipe that keeps on giving since we have so many burritos just waiting to be eaten. And the fact that we can have a vegan breakfast burrito in just a few minutes every morning is just a magical thing if you ask me. So I really do hope you all make this. And if you wanna check out some more vegan breakfast videos, here's a playlist with a bunch more recipes to make. And if you do, let me know how it goes. And until then, I'll see you all next time.